The Cradle Attack Series Part 2, The Dash Choke. Hey guys, I'm here again with Reese, and we're gonna have a look at our part two cradle series attack, which will be the Das Choke. Uh, fantastic choke, and the cradle is a fantastic and very popular setup for the Das Choke. I'll just show you some variations that I do with the Das Choke that might work for you. So, if Reese is lying down here, and I have him in the cradle position. Cradle position is a great position, guys. If you've seen my other videos on the series, you know how much I love it, and you know how many things we can do. So when I have him in my cradle here, okay, I have my S grip, I'm holding him nice and tight, I'm not gonna slip off his head. Once I have him here like this, if I do wanna stay on this close side, what I can do is I can actually try to fish for this hand, okay, this elbow here, with my left hand, okay? So I'm actually getting that left hand in there, okay? This will also be the setup for our attack that's coming in part three of this series. So this is kind of double benefit here. So once he's in the cradle, I wait to see his tricep, and if I can see my hand, that means my hand can grab his tricep. If his tricep was here and I can't see my hand, well, I can't grab his tricep. But if I can see my own hand, that means I can grab his tricep. Okay, thumbless grip, just like this. So once I've got him there and I grab, the problem is he can now kick his leg out because I don't have his leg, okay? But that's okay because I've let my grip go to grab his arm, so this isn't strong anymore, but I'm gonna use this to choke him now. So I don't mind if he kicks out of the grip. So once I have him here, I try to grab a tricep. Now, whether he kicks out or not, I'm gonna take this hand out and I'm gonna thread it through deep like this and grab onto my own bicep here. Uh, some guys like to sort of do the dash like this and they feed their right hand through and they grab. But if guys are knowing it and they're expecting it, they can do some cool sweeps and reversals too. Not to mention, just Reese can tuck his head back real hard and like extend backwards like a deadlift and he's just gonna get out at a higher level. If I try to put my body weight here, then he can get rolls on me this way because I've got rid of my post. So I really like to do my dash almost back to front. So I go this hand first, then this hand, and I hold on really tight, and then as soon as I feel you're ready for it, I'll circle my hand out, okay? I'm sure a million of you guys do the variation of the dash like this, but I'd never seen it before, and as soon as I started doing it, I just got so many more dashes, not on beginners, that's easy, on people who are my training partners that knew that I liked dash chokes, because they're the hardest, of course. So once I've got him here, I look for the arm, I grab the arm. I take my right hand out and I feed it through and I grab onto my own bicep. Now comes the crux of the move here. I don't want him to think that I'm trying to get a das. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep my grip like this. I've got his arm and I've got my arm, okay? So my left arm's on his arm, my right arm's on my own. And now I'm gonna tilt towards my right hand side, which helps get my right arm deeper. I tilt towards that right hand side, and now that gives me enough room to just let my hand come around. And never did I sacrifice the integrity of this grip, because I always had my arm, so all I do is take it out. I put it up as high as I can, and now I have two finishing options. I can just push in and sprawl as I squeeze, or one of my favorite ones is to switch my base step to mount with him on his side. He must still be on his side. And now I use my weight and gravity through my chest here to get my squeeze. I prefer this one often just because I feel that it requires less of a squeeze because you get to use a little bit better gravity and you get to get a little bit more of a dominant angle on him, okay? So let's have a look one more time, full speed. Cradle. Oh, I can see my hands, that means I can grab his arm. I let go, I go deep, grab my bicep. Fall to my right, get my hand out, and get my finish. If I wanna to get to mount, I'll get to mount. I love that attack, guys. Of course, once we got our hand through, you could have looked at Japanese neckties and various step over neckties, but at the end of the day, guys, the dash is a great technique. Make sure you use it, otherwise someone's gonna use it on you. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Coach Tom, I'll see you next time for part three of the Cradle Attack series. Thanks for watching the video guys, I hope you loved it. For more free videos, click here. And if you'd like to get our free Footlock Masterclass, please click here. And if you'd like to help support me so I can help bring you high level Jiu Jitsu for free every day, please click here. Thank you for watching guys, I'm Coach Tom, I'll see you next time.